Senator Austin, uh, regarding the opioid crisis, you've sure. said 90-day uh, treatment programs aren't always sufficient and that supportive housing can be a better solution. How can Connecticut legislators act to best address the opioid problem without breaking the bank? It's expensive. Let's, let's just face that fact. Uh, if we're going to truly address the issue, it's going to cost real money. And it's going to cost real money because we need to build supportive housing. And we need to provide the correct resources uh, for people that uh, have uh, either substance abuse problems or are duly diagnosed with some mental health issues that may be self-medicating. Uh, we uh, need to provide uh, com uh, housing environments that have services attached with those. And um, I don't think that it's an easy solution and we have to be willing to put real dollars into it. The opioid issue, Ms. Koch? I agree that it's a problem. It's a problem throughout the nation. It's a problem in southeastern Connecticut. Uh, many lives have been cut short. Many lives have been destroyed. But at the same time we say that, we have Governor Malloy taking away money, taking away beds for detox units, cutting those agencies that handle dual diagnosis. And one of the things I can say is the Affordable Care Act, some people call Obamacare, said that mental health and addiction services were supposed to have parity with all other illnesses. Obviously that's not the case when we read in the day about the gentleman who was let out of rehab early and actually OD'd within a week because the insurance refused to pay. So I think that there are other issues both, both on the state and a national level that we need to look at. But one of the things we need to understand is addiction is a problem. Any money that we put into it is an investment and not an expenditure. Senator Dostin, anything further? Um, I'm not certain where my colleague thinks the money comes from, but it's always an expenditure. Whenever there's money there, it's always an expenditure. I think it's a worthwhile expenditure, and I think it's something that we need to do. Um, and uh, I think that uh, we may be able to, by uh, good policy, uh, is look at saving some of the money that we have put into our prison system and start decreasing that those dollars and rolling them over into uh, Demis and uh, the... Department of Mental Health. I think that that's what we have to look at, uh, where we can uh, move dollars from one agency to the other. Thank you. Um, 